A sound preparation strategy for SolidWorks certification should include formal training, individual study, a good amount of hands-on experience, and a thorough pre-exam review. For CSWA certification, SolidWorks recommends completing all of the tutorials provided with the SolidWorks software. In addition, a college-level SolidWorks class with at least 45 hours of instruction is also recommended. For CSWP certification, SolidWorks recommends the following live training classes available through your reseller. SolidWorks Essentials, Drawings, Advanced Part Modeling, and Advanced Assemblies. If you're interested in obtaining the Cosmos Works Designer Specialist Certification, a Cosmos Works Designer Training class is also recommended. For individual study, Solid Professor offers courses covering all certification topics. The recommended courses are Core Concepts, Advanced Concepts, and Cosmos Works Designer. Many resellers throughout the U.S. and internationally offer Solid Professor self-paced courses as a complement to live training classes. This combined approach is ideal for quick ramp-up and continuous learning. Beyond classroom and self-paced training, hands-on experience is critical. The more time you spend modeling with SolidWorks, the more efficient you'll become. Basic tasks like sketching, adding geometric relations, and defining mates become second nature with experience. This speeds up your modeling and leaves more test time to tackle the challenges you might face. In addition, more experience means you've encountered a wider variety of modeling challenges, so you're less likely to be faced with a problem for the first time during the test. The amount of time it will take you to complete the recommended formal training courses will be anywhere from two to six months, depending on how aggressive you are with your schedule. Be sure to challenge yourself during this time period by modeling as many parts and assemblies as you can. If you're not actively involved in modeling projects at school or at work, pick up parts around your office and model them. If you run out of parts, there's a book named Technical Drawing by Gysek, Mitchell, Spencer, Hill, Digon, and Novak. It's filled with great examples and also presents models in a manner very similar to what you'll see on the exams. Modeling random parts, either lying around your office or from a book, is one of the most effective ways of uncovering any weaknesses in your skill set. If you take this proactive approach, you should be ready to take on the CSWA exam after three months and the CSWP in six months. Of course, these time frames can vary widely from one individual to another, but these are good guidelines. After formal training, individual study, and hands-on experience, it's time to prepare for the exam. Since you're going through this course, it's likely you've already arrived at this stage. Congratulations! As you've seen in the early parts of this course, I feel it's important that you have a thorough understanding of the structure of the exam. You should know the number of questions to expect. Understand how the test is scored, be aware of the time constraints, and as we'll see in the remainder of the course, know what to expect in terms of modeling difficulty. This course will step you through several models with similar complexity to those you'll find on the exams. My goal is that once you've reviewed this course thoroughly, you should not be surprised by anything you'll see on the exam. Finally, before taking your certification test, be sure to visit the SolidWorks website if you haven't done so already. In the Services section, you'll find information about certification including sample tests and a list of topics relevant to each certification. If you're unfamiliar with any of the topics listed, review the SolidWorks help file and search your Solid Professor courses to brush up.